Welcome back guys. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can dual boot in DPN OS. So first we're going to visit this website dpn.org and this is a Chinese website um, but no worries. Uh, so just click on the first download button. You can download from any of these and for some reason it does not start downloading because Chrome detects it as uh, some uh, a virus or something so we need to right click on it and then select save as then only it will start downloading and even if after we ok it uh, it still scrum does not allow us so we're going to have to allow it manually so this is how you download it so after downloading the uh, the iso file we need to move it into the pen drive so i have already made that pen drive into a bootable using the ventoy software i'm going to list link to that video in the description it's really easy process so we're going to just copy paste the iso file in the ventoy usb and we need to create a partition for it so search and type partition I have created a 50 GB for the Linux and uh, I'm going to delete it so we need to delete and leave it as it is do not create a new volume just delete the the entire uh, partition and now we need to boot into our BIOS and select the boot device options and here we will select our USB And you can see the ventoy screen we can just choose any os to start i'm going to select deep in and the first option and the installation will start and you will see this deep in logo So going to set it up so by default it is Chinese I'm going to select English so pair OS also was uh, Chinese and this one is also um, they are fairly like clone of Mac OS very uh, close to it so that is why I'm going to use it and these are really beautiful OS's so now we need to select advanced because we need to boot into dual boot so we're going to select advanced and we're going to find our partition so here we need to keep the rest as it is but on the mount we need to select the forward slash then click on create And then click on next um, it's asking us to create a swap partition so if you want you can create that as well make sure to choose half of what your current RAM is and you can create it but it is only for heavy users and should not affect our performance that much so it's going to take some time to install everything and after some time um, it will reboot so we're going to wait for it so now it's asking us to restart our device so you will see this option you have to choose the uh, the deep in and now the real setup begins select your language your reason I'm going to go for Kolkata so time and you need to create a username and password You can also like choose your avatar image. Just confirm your password. Then next. And then it's going to finalize the settings. 
So now we are in the DPN OS and I've installed the OBS Studio. And right off the bat, you can see how it's similar it looks like Mac OS. And very beautiful rounded edges and you can choose the accent and the dark color, the dark mode or the light mode. Looks fantastic actually, it's very smooth. And you can see the Wi-Fi is working. All the toggles are on the bottom. You can expand the like the icon size by simply like stretching. Pretty easy way. And the animation is already smooth. You can see the what you start logout button. And this is a search option. You can search anything you want. So this is also found in macOS. Pretty nifty feature. You can also summon the online keyboard just by clicking that. All the apps are listed here. And you can also use this option um, for the shortcuts. All your notifications are this on the right side. You can also choose the icon style you want and also the cursor style you can see the cursor is a little bit different it's like a prism you have the various network settings this looks really good you can see the clock And it, the updates, all the updates will be available right here. And you can see your device of information. So I do not have a GPU, uh, just the i5 6 gen, 8 GB RAM. This is the file manager. Looks fantastic, actually. Very beautiful UI. You can tag your files according to color. And also, the I've tested it, it also plays MKV videos. Um, it has VLC installed, but previously I've noticed the in the other other Linux um, MKV files has some issues playing on the uh, OS. And this is the multitasking window. So I have to say it works pretty uh, like very stable OS. I haven't found any weird bugs, and also. Then rebooting it always shows the option to switch between Windows or DPNOS. And in other Linux, actually it disappears sometimes, but it works pretty fine here. And this is the App Store, and I have to say this is one of the um, the best App Store I've found. Like all the variety of apps are here. Uh, other OSs I've noticed uh, the choice is pretty limited, but there is a vast number of apps here so it's very easy to find and install it you can always use the terminal but i think this one is really uh, really handy and very useful for someone who is new to linux they have their whole own catalog they actually create their own catalog and, and categories so i think it's pretty fantastic to have this variety of apps and i'm pretty happy with the app store And also this is the terminal window and this is the all the wallpaper options lots of beautiful wallpapers to choose from and I think this one is from the Mac OS it actually makes it look like Mac OS pretty pretty good looking and this is the if I go for the browser um, this is a chromium browser but they have themed to look like uh, Safari or something pretty white and minimal. If I go into the settings, and I can see it is Chromium based, so this is very good. So, yeah, that was the DP noise, and I really like it so far. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.